What's going on guys? I hope you're all having a really good day so far. So today I wanted to do a quick video that's kind of going to expound on the last video that we did, or the last video I recorded at least. So the last video I recorded was testing out some of those Lehigh 90 grain self, or not self defense, but rather extreme defense bullets that I hand loaded using CFE pistol small pistol primers from Federal, the Federal 100s, and some Starline brass. So, all together, we did between 5.3 grains of that CFE pistol to 6.1 grains, and we worked up to the max charge and everything looked perfectly safe. We did it on a relatively hot day, and everything looked just fine, but the velocities weren't as high as we were wanting them to. So today, I'm gonna change a few things and see if I can crank up the velocity just a little bit. I got six rounds loaded, and I'm going to shoot them all onto the same target and the only things that we're going to change is the handgun so in the last video we used the SR9C which is my concealed carry handgun it's got a 3.5 inch barrel if I remember correctly and this one has a four and three quarter inch barrel so we got an inch and a quarter more barrel length to work with which theoretically should give us a higher velocity I just went ahead and loaded up the max charge of the same test that we did last time just because it seemed perfectly safe so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot whatever the highest velocity is that we got in the last one we're just gonna compare it to that here in the end so I got six rounds of 6.1 grains of CFE pistol loaded into the same brand new Starline brass with the same primers and whatnot and we're just gonna shoot it through this pistol on paper here in a minute but not only am I gonna change the pistol I'm going to change the chronograph so the last chronograph we used was that competition electronics chronograph the one that you have to set out about 15 feet in front of the actual muzzle of the gun so that you don't blow off the face of the chronograph which is kind of excessive with your shooting if you're shooting with a pistol that's probably not going to happen anyway but if you're shooting with a rifle it's a lot more likely to cause it some damage and debris hitting it if you're using a muzzle brake or something of the sort so anyway we're actually going to hook up a magneto speed to this gun because it has a picatinny rail so i can latch it right onto here and have the chronograph right underneath it so we'll actually get muzzle velocity instead of the velocity 15 front 15 feet in front of the gun so we're gonna do that here in just a minute. I'm going to flip the camera around here so that you guys can see the target. I'm not expecting to shoot spectacular groups today because I've never shot this thing with a magneto speed hooked onto it, but I am gonna put them on target just out of curiosity. So let's go ahead and load the gun up, get it ready to shoot and put some rounds on target. Okay, so just so you guys can see, this is the setup that we're working with. It looks extremely hillbilly. This is not something that I recommend a lot of people do, but it works. I tried it the other day and it was 100% functional, but I'm just gonna send one round down the pipe to ensure that this is going to get a good reading. I have to change the setting um, to a different sensitivity so that it will read correctly because the last time I tested it, I had to mess with it quite a bit to get it to work right, but I think I've got it figured out now. So I'm going to go ahead and set this in front of the camera, and I'm just going to take one shot. I'm not really going to try real hard to be super accurate, but just so you guys can see what we're working with here. Oops. Probably helps if you load around first. All right. So far, so good. All right, see, it works just fine. The gun functions good. Uh, it stays right where it needs to be. You get good velocity. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, step back to 10 yards. I'm gonna load the self-defense ammo. Those were just ball rounds. And let's go ahead and see what velocities we get. Alright guys, so hopefully you can see the target well as well as the magneto speed display. I'm going to go ahead and step back to 10 yards and fire 6 shots. Now the speed that we worked up to in the last video with this load was 1269 feet. So let's see if we can get them any faster.
All right, guys, that's what I'm talking about. So <clears throat> the groups were not incredible, but we were not shooting for groups. So the main thing that we wanted to look at was speed. And as you could see, it clearly changed. So 1,400 and 14 feet per second is a lot more like it. And with a 6.1 standard deviation, I'm not gonna complain. I'm pretty happy with that. For a self-defense load, that's pretty awesome. Considering everything looks safe pertaining to the brass, uh, pressure-wise, everything looked completely safe. It is pretty hot. I am in the shade a little bit, but I had the rounds sitting out in the sun, so those conditions would have probably been the same if I were out on a sunny day and needed to shoot something, then that's probably what it would be like if my handgun was sitting in a car or sitting in the sun or something like that. So I'm not afraid of the pressure. I think that the pressure is fine. I think that the velocity is a lot closer to where I wanted it to be. Now, given this was out of a longer barrel than they had listed in their testing, so it's not quite the same, but again, this is a lot closer to the velocity that I was expecting to see than what we saw last time. So. Basically, the conclusion of the test is, yeah, those things can be pushed pretty fast if you want to, and I never really recommend going over max powder charge, but if everything looks safe and you feel that it's okay to do so, that's up to your discretion, but do not go over max powder charges. That's what I am telling you. Now, uh, I'm pretty happy with the results here. I'm actually really excited to see that they shot the way they did. Now, the group on paper, isn't incredible but this is also like i said got a bayonet strapped to the end of it so i didn't really know what to expect with accuracy so anyway that's the video guys thank y'all for sticking around check out the links in the description to see the website and the facebook page and i hope to catch y'all in the next video hope you found this useful y'all stay risen take care